Hello everybody, what is up? My name is King Spinach, and welcome back to my Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play walkthrough. Oh, we got some baddies over here, but we don't want to deal with them. Uh, I don't want to deal with them, certainly. Uh, anyways, let's look at our quest map. I got, I pressed the right button this time. I'm so proud of myself. I, okay. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna have to find this, uh, we're gonna have to find that apostate cache. I, eventually, I mean, we don't have to do it right now. Why don't we, why don't we go up here and find all of these things? Let's go up there and let's fast travel to the Dwarfson's Pass camp. And we'll go up there and do all of that stuff because we're doing some, we're doing more side quests. Um, simply because I want to level up to at least, um, I think level eight. That could be useful. That's a, probably a good one. What are we right now? Level five. So I want to get up to level 8 before we start doing more main mission stuff. Um, just because I think level 8 was uh, a recommended level for like specific things. Um, hold up a second. If I head this way... Am I? Yeah. I think I'm like trapping myself by going this way. So I, th I think I should go the other way. I think I should go around this rock the other way. Um, to get to all the stuff. Uh, around this whole mountain... Mountainous region. Around all these mountains. We got the worried scout. We've already talked to him. There's some there's a baddie over here. Let's get some action going. Boom boom. Is it just me or am I missing some audio or something? What's up? I feel like I'm not I feel like music isn't playing or something. Something that's supposed to be playing is not playing. We're not going tactical camera here just because I kind of want to get some action stuff in. Nice. We're doing some damage. Let's poison our weapons. Let's strafe around him so he can't really uh, attack us too much. Long shot. And now the other guy is basically down, so we'll just focus on this defender. Everything seems quiet to me, so I turned up my headset volume. I don't know about you guys, it seems like stuff's oddly quiet, like I'm missing sound effects or something. Did we get any loot from these guys? Yeah, we did. There's some right there. Let's grab it. Canary Battle Axe. Okay, anyways. We gotta head this way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. I think this is gonna lead right to all those, uh... All those, um, I guess, diamonds on the map. This path right here. And there's a chest over there, too. Ooh, and, uh... Some other... Are these Inquisition? They are! They look like Inquisition scouts. Oh, no, I don't want you to do a leaping shot. Whatever. Did it anyway. Finn doesn't care. Finn does what he wants. All right. We've been searching the region for resources. And you're floating. Okay. No small task given recent troubles, but I've some supplies here you may find Ooh. useful. Soldier's nemesis. Let's see let's see what that bow looks like. Uh Oh. Oh, this is a new one and it's better by one damage has the same has the same other thing. So I guess since it's better, we might as well equip it. Um, now let's see. Can Cassandra use that? Or does she have a better shield? She has a better shield. Uh, I think I went through all this stuff. Um, we're not going to worry about that. I think Solus is good for now. She doesn't use two-handed weapons. She's using a hatchet. And okay, I think we're good on the uh, inventory front. So let's continue on our little trek over hither. Ooh, yeah, look at this. It's a cave. Got some drake stone right out front. That's some as well, right? Yep. And it looks like there's a mission in there, which is cool. You know, not every dwarf likes caves. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Varric. All the party banter in this game is really good. Uh, is this a cache? Yeah, this is a cache. That's awesome. So there's one of the apostate caches. 
There's one of the apostate caches here, I think, is going to be our... Oh, whoops, I thought I was going to read the thing. Uh, I guess I'll gather all the supplies and then read the thing and then loot the chest. Um, I like how the music's back. That's good. I like the music in this game. It's really good. Uh, very RPG-esque. All right. Which is never bad. A letter found on a dead dwarf. I need you to check a cave up in the hills off the path between Redcliffe and Haven. If you can get it past the mages and templars, it's worth it. Oh, if you can get past the mages and templars, it's worth it. Purest vein I've seen so close to the surface. A vein? They might be talking about red lyrium. That's not good. We don't like red lyrium. Pointed maw schematic? That's cool. I'll do leaping shots just because I can. Don't worry, little nug. We're not gonna... It's a nug, right? Yeah, it's called a nug. Okay. Don't worry, little nug. We're not gonna take you out. We're good people. We don't shoot animals all... I mean, all the time. Some of the time we do, but I'm not feeling animal shooty today. Let's long shot you. And then start off. Actually, you know what I should do? I should be doing actual tactics. Um, such as long shotting, pausing, going over to this stuff. And uh, picking up Varric for... Oh, these guys are level 8. Alright, let's give it a shot. Uh, we already have a barrier. And then war cry. Because Varric's full draw... Should do a lot of damage. Farrakh, are you full drawing him? Did you even full draw him? Farrakh, did you? Yeah, it looks like he did. Alright, anyways. Oh, you have no stamina left. Oh, Finn, what are you doing over there? Let's do a barrier. On top of Cassandra. And then, uh, let's do a Winter's Blast. Winter's Grasp, sorry, on the Outlaw. Which kind of didn't work. He's immune to physical effects. Don't know what that means, necessarily. Alright, Varric. Varric's kind of using his abilities by himself. Finn, I kind of feel like, should back off. So, why don't you get over here. And then, everybody, attack. Um, let's keep going. Why don't you use long shot? Solus. Oh, he's gonna go down. Yeah, he went down. Okay. That's good, but we should have Cassandra use a healing potion. Uh, because that didn't necessarily go really well for her. Um, she got hurt a lot, but that's okay. That comes with part of being the tank. Although, I wish she had gotten more guard, and I like how that super tough guy barely dropped anything. Um, reinforced scout armor. That looks good for rogues. I believe medium armor is for rogues. Um, man, there's a lot of drake stone over here. What did I miss that way? Oh, it was just the, some ore. That's okay. I'm fine with missing a little bit of ore here and there. Oh, we skipped a little bit, but uh, it's okay. What's over here? Is this the thing? Oh, a letter. Letter found on a noble woman's corpse. My lady Velina. I know you're frightened, but the light in the skies shouldn't scare you. It's the eye of the maker finally coming back to take the faithful to the golden city. Leave your father's servants and come up into the hills, away from the pointless fighting between the mages and temp or between the Templars and Mages. Let me introduce you to speaker Aeneas. She'll explain everything and we'll be together and happy, waiting for everything to be right in the world. Oh we met we met Speaker Aeneas. Your love, Lord Berand. We met Speaker Aeneas. That's so cool. We helped her out, too. So we're back in Dwarfsons. Oh, I guess we could have gone the other way around the mountain. But... Maybe not? Oh, these guys are, like, level 4 or something. Because they're going down fast. Yeah, they got, they got owned. Oh, they also have a letter. Templar Encampment. When the Tevinter Imperium said that mages should rule over man, the just rebelled against the unrighteous decree. When the Circle said that mages should be allowed to cohort or consort with unholy spirits without care or consequence, the just rebelled against the unrighteous decree. Now the Lord Seeker tells us to withdraw to Val Royo. My brothers, I tell you, we are the just, and we must rebel against this unrighteous decree. 
Our battle must continue until no mage draws breath. Cast aside these cowardly shackles and join us along the river off the, w off the west road. A letter written in a crisp and educated hand. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, old Dayless promise ring. So we got the ring. Perfect. Uh, is there anything else in this area? No other triangles. Perfect. So we have to return it to this lady. And there's an apostate cache right next to her. How convenient. Let's travel back to the camp. And we'll go deliver the ring, grab the cash, and and not cash as in money, but cash as in uh, location <laughs> and store and like goods. Um, and then I think the only cash left will be that tricky one down at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the hill on top of the rift um, or the rift that was there, <laughs> but we took out because we're awesome. Uh, I'm gonna grab some elf root because I don't feel like we've been picking up too many herbs recently. And I feel like we need elf root to create regeneration potions. Um, wasn't that the potion that we learned? Yeah, we have regen potions, but we kind of... Oh man, I keep pressing B to get out of that left bumper menu. But it's that that's not what you're supposed to do. Alright, Finn, put away the bow. Oh, here's this uh, lady's cabin. So we'll walk in. Hello, Widow Mara. Where are the Templars? They don't care who they kill anymore. Oh, well, I want to get right up in there. I want to be able to see her. I don't like this uh, not going into dialogue thing. I found this ring on a Templar I killed. This is it. Praise to you and the Inquisition for giving my husband justice. Awesome. Bring him back, but his spirit will rest easier now, as will mine. Perfect. So we got some influence there. Solus and Cassandra's approval, which is good. Uh, now we got a... Oh, this shack is burning. I don't think I noticed that my first time through here. Uh, so let's take a peek. There seems to be a few enemies. So let's approach this tactically, right? Let's approach it tactically. So, because we've done a bit of action so far. So we got a Templar Archer, another Templar Archer. Oh, just three Templar Archers? Oh, well, this is going to be simple. So, Varric, why don't you full draw this guy? Just take him down. Cassandra, why don't you challenge this one? Uh, Solus should barrier the whole group. And then Finn will long shot uh, the third one way in the back. Can you see him? Might be able to see him. I don't know if he has line of sight necessarily. Does Finn have line of sight? Not really. So, why don't you long shot this guy instead? Uh, let's see what happens. How'd that full draw go? Oh, that did a lot. That did like 600 points of damage. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we take down this guy. All right, now Cassandra, I'm gonna take direct control of. I'm gonna war cry. Go right up to him. Beat him down. Nice, that was pretty cool. We handled that pretty tactically, but that was a pretty straight up thing also. Hey, we got one of the four decorative gems that we need. Awesome. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, I need a rogue. Uh, I can do that. What are you talking about, Varric? I can open a door, too. Do I have to oh, okay. I thought there would be a lockpicking game. Cassandra, get out of the- get out of the fire. Get out of the fire. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, she's not the brightest. Okay, anyways. Oh my god, that's terrible. Okay, well, I'll loot their stuff, because somebody's got to take it before the ho whole house burns down. I'll come over here, jump this way, loot these. Aquamarine and Mind Leech Staff. I don't see how a staff fit there, but uh, that's okay. And we'll read this note. A page from the journal, Edges Scorched. The Templars were attacking the peasants we'd taken food from. They wanted to make certain that everyone fought to the death rather than help us. We took them by surprise with ice and lightning, and several were dead before they even saw us. So much for all that Templar discipline. The brutes are off the leash just as much as we are now. Still, there were enough of them to damp our magic, and the cell swords died fast when it came to blows. We've fallen back into the peasants' home. It's sturdy enough in here, and it looks like the peasants didn't give up all their food after all. The door's locked, and the Templars gave up trying to force it after we killed the last fool who tried. 
I can hear them out there doing something in the trees. Whatever they try, we'll be ready. We're never going back to any circle. Even real Templars couldn't stop us, and these glorified bandits are no better than we are. From a page, scorched around the edges, apparently torn from a journal. Oh, wow. Well, that's kind of interesting. I like how there's there are these kind of, almost, ev they're not really events, but they're stories across the landscape. And you don't even have to take a quest to engage in a story. Like, not every single quest uh, has to deal with, like, some sort of story. Like, you can have stories just by exploring. Um, and there's no, like... Do, do, I, I think I know, I know what I mean. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I know what I mean. Anyways, we gotta mark this cache. So it's somewhere in this general vicinity. The people here should leave the area. It's too dangerous. Is that it right there? Home seeker. It is. Awesome. More supplies for recruit Whittle. All right, now what are we gonna do? Let's see. We got a bunch of new quests. I think it's time we actually head over to the Master of Horses thing. We gotta get over there at some point. Uh, there's a rift up there. There's a cabin stuff. We gotta we should get going this way. So let's head to the Upper Lake Camp. And we'll just head off in that direction. We'll mark uh, the camp on our map because we're trying to get all of the camps finished, I guess, like cleared or set up or whatever the uh, correct term would be. <laughs> we're trying to get all the camps done because um, that's basically, that's one of the, I guess that's the main goal of, you know, spreading the Inquisition's influence. So I'm trying to get the camps going. I believe we can just head this way. Let's grab the Blood Lotus on the way. So we haven't had too much of that. We haven't gotten the ability to get too much Blood Lotus. It seems to only grow near water, hence the Lotus portion of the blood. Um, <laughs> and I guess we'll just keep going this way. Can we go down from here? Yeah, this looks like uh, you're... Yeah, this was built so that you can go down without taking too much fall damage. Seems to be a lot of fighting down here. Oh, this is where we saw the first burning stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we've been here before. We were just over, way over there in the direction that my camera's pointing, where that ice shard is. That's where we've popped out. So we have been here before. Um, this place is pretty neat, though. There's something in here that we have to do. Oh. Well, let's see. How many baddies are we talking about here? We got... Level 5 archer, level 5 archer, so long shots. Uh, why don't you Winter's Grasp him, and I got the term right this time, and why don't you full draw this fella, and Cassandra just, uh, just, just go in here and take down this guy. Oh man, that damage. Oh, that does so much damage. He's already down, and he went down as well, so that was really good. It was really fast. We may, I don't know, I'm considering, like, upping the difficulty a little bit. Um, but I don't really like to play, I like playing games for their difficulty. Do not get me wrong, but I don't really like playing games, um, RPGs, for their difficulty. I like playing RPGs for their story, and uh, while gameplay is important to me, uh, in an RPG, it's definitely not the most important thing. All right, you got two Templar Archers, a Templar Defender, Electricity Vulnerability. Um, we don't have any electric people. Um, so I think our first goal should definitely be to take down the um, Archers. But Cassandra should probably rush in and just start button heads with that fella. While Varric long shots him. Or full draws, rather. Sorry. Did that not work? That did not work. Try again. That did also not work. Okay. Why don't you just do that to this guy, then? Hey, that worked. Uh, that explosive shot did not work. Sometimes, I don't know why... 
Oh, it's because they're out of line of sight or there's something in the way. So you long shot him. Uh, can you do anything yet, Finn? Can't yet. Now you can. Nice. Get him while he's down. I think we can just... We don't even have to micromanage here. We can just watch. Although I will have... Oh, no. He's down. Okay. Awesome. That was pretty good. We got some stuff to read in here. Templar Encampment. Brothers, we must listen to the call of the Maker himself, who has given us the duty to destroy these mages. By the rebellion, they have fortified their right to live. They are not people, and any order that asks us to end this just and righteous battle is a lie, a test sent by him to separate the faithful from the foolish. Join us off the West Road and fight for a worthy cause. A letter written in a crisp and educated hand. Oh, this is the same quest, so that also probably triggers um, that same Templar encampment quest that we literally just picked up. Uh, we got a bunch of loot down here from all the people that we took out. And there's also another thing to read, I guess. Oh, our inventory is full. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Is there anything that we could just, like, absolutely just get rid of? Uh, why don't we head over to Two-Handed Weapons and, uh, just drop this and drop that. And why don't we drop this as well? And let's head over to our daggers. I, mean, I think you need two daggers, so let's drop the like, least effective two, um, and I think we should have enough to fit this, oh, I pressed the wrong button again, okay, whew, wooden Mabari figurine, all right, so that mosaic piece, uh, obviously does not, uh, count in our inventory, which is good, decorative gems, I don't think they count either, Lamb's wool and more decorated gems. Hey, place the landmark. Fort Connor. Fort Connor was constructed by a young Arl Eamon after the Orlesians were driven from Ferelden. It was named in honor of Eamon's father, who died at the Battle of West Hill, and after whom the Arl named his son. Eamon was determined for Redcliffe to stand a shining example of Ferelden's strength. He constructed Fort Connor to watch the King's Highway and protect the hinterlands against all enemies. It proved its fortitude against Darkspawn during the Vift Blight, suffering damage only when the Darkspawn deployed emissar emissaries. Oh man, my reading. Eamon said proudly at the time that Fort Connor was unbreakable by anything short of magic, and for that, thank the Maker we have Templars. Excerpt from Living Redcliffe by Sister Dorcas Guerin. Okay, so I guess we're in Fort Connor. Now, we did pick up some decorative gems there, but the uh, whole quest tracking didn't pop up, so I don't know what that means. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what that means. I don't know if those gems counted or what the dealio is there. Um, but there we go. We just raided Fort Connor, so that's pretty good. Uh, wrong button. What else is in the area? Uh, so much. Oh, it's a shard, 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 rift, and a thing. So why don't we, why don't we go and pick up some shards while we're here? I think, um, as far as shards go, I had asked this question, um, earlier in the series. Do you guys, like, wanted, if you guys wanted me to pick up shards or what? Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is just, just pick them up on camera. Might as well, because some of them are a little bit difficult to get to. Ow, 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 ow. And you have to burn yourself to get to them. Is that a mosaic piece? Because it sure looks like it. And I picked it up. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy. I was like, oh, let's get him, let's get him. Nope, turns out it's just Varric. Varric being Varric. Oh, and I guess this is how you're supposed to get into the shack. But, you know, that's how, like, not cool people get into the shack. I burned myself to get into the shack. <laughs> let's read. Dwarven Runecraft. Within the Diamond Quarter of Orzammar lies the Shaperit. Shaperit? Shaperit. A branch of dwarven society so ancient that the dwarves themselves do not know when or where it began. They are the keepers of history for a people who have never known the sun or seasons, and who track time by the lives and deaths of kings. 
but they are not mere historians, they are craftsmen, for the living history of the dwarves is not written, but forged. The memories, as the dwarves call their records, are runes painstakingly crafted from, really, from lyrium, which contain the actual thoughts of the shapers who made them. The making of runes is not strictly or is not restricted solely to the shapers. The most commonly useful kind are crafted by many members of the Smith cast from Lyrium and other magically reactive metals and can imbue a variety of fascinating new properties to an item when, when properly applied, just as the runes of Tevinter design do. But runes are found everywhere in dwarven artwork and not at all serve and not all serve a practi practical purpose. My reading skills are so bad. At least, not one that's known. They are carved onto houses and storefronts, they are embroidered on garments, etched in glassware, even painted on chamber pots. The meanings of the symbols themselves are sacred knowledge kept by the Shaperit. They are not, as many surface folk believe, the written language of the modern dwarves, but rather the remnants of a lost language that predates Orzammar, the dwarven kingdom, and even the tens of thousands of years of history recorded in the memories. The Shaper recognizes the meanings of a few dozen dwarven runes. Memory, obviously, is used for their record keeping. Many have not been, many have not so much been translated as inferred. Runes which decorate both armor and lord bearing architecture may might very well mean strength or endurance. New symbols are unearthed now and then in the fallen thags, brought back by the Legion of the Dead and gener and jealously hoarded by the shapers who struggle to find their uses uses and origins. Were these symbols an earlier version of the d written Dwarven tongue, a language that fell into disuse, replaced by the modern King's tongue? It is hard to dis it is hard to guess, and the memories offer us no wisdom. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Genitivi. And I can't read, and that was like the longest thing that I've ever read in my entire life. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's just some- that's just the plant. Uh, 